in this premiere chapter, I want to talk to you about using basic picture effects and being able to animate them with keyframes. So what I want to do is double click on the clip and I'm going to load it inside of my source monitor and then I want to click on what's called effects controls. Every video clip inside of Adobe Premiere has basic motion, the, what's called opacity and time remapping. But what I want to do is add a picture effect. So I'm going to click on effects down here in the bottom left hand corner and I'm going to go to video effects and I'm going to go down here to blur and sharpen and if I twirl down this triangle let's use a basic Gaussian blur and there's two ways that we can apply this picture effect to the clip one way is we can click on the Gaussian blur and I can drag and drop it onto the clip and let go and when I let go of the mouse button watch up here in the left hand corner on our effects control and you can see that now Gaussian Blur was added to that. Did you see that? Here I'm going to Command Z to undo and then I'll manually drag Gaussian Blur onto the clip again. Now you can see that it's added here. The reason why we see it being added here in the effects control is because once again I double clicked on this clip and I loaded it up here into the source monitor. Okay. So now that I have it into the source monitor Notice that I have a little playhead inside of the effects control window. So when I move the playhead here, it also moves it on the timeline. So I'm going to move the playhead back to the beginning of the clip, actually maybe even a few frames before it starts. And I want to go ahead and toggle the animation switch on. All right, and that's going to lay down our first keyframe. And I could type in, say, 100 or I could drag this, but I typed in 100 for the amount of blurriness. So now as I move the playhead through this, look here, look how blurry the, the shot is. Now at some point, I want it to come back into focus. I'll bring my playhead to about this point right here, and I can just click in the numbers, and if I drag all the way to the left, or I type in zero, you can see that it adds another keyframe. For us to animate something, or like we did with the chapter on volume, we have to have two keyframes. So as I back this up and I play it, let's take a look. You can see it starts out really blurry, and now it comes into focus. For example, if we wanted the blurriness to last longer, what we would do is stretch the keyframes out further apart, and so that way it would stay blurry longer. And you probably guessed it, if we want the blurriness to go away faster, then we move the keyframes closer together. All right, so that is a quick tip here on animating picture effects with Adobe Premiere.